Well, I don't think it can be exploiting any tragedy to be here today representing frontline public sector workers who want to get the message across what is the reality of what the cuts have meant right across the UK. And the reason I say that is because I just don't think people know that politicians can easily give us all the rhetoric. And we've done this, we've done this, we've done this. But what I think the statistics you're getting today tell us without, without any sort of doubt is there's been swinging cuts and they have an effect on the day-to-day -day policing and keeping people safe. The cuts I mentioned in the border force and the cuts we've seen in former customs means that probably people assume that every bit of freight that comes into this country is searched and opened up and people look, it is just not the case because the staff have been removed. The reality is that crime in this country, serious crime against the person, has been rising since 2012-13, despite what the government has said on many, many occasions because of the selective use they choose to make of the crime survey for England and Wales. And I think the electorate itself will begin to put two and two together and wonder whether the huge cuts that have been made to policing in England and Wales are impacting upon terrorist activity in the same way that it's impacting clearly on serious crime against the person. And the electorate will make that decision. The current Prime Minister says that she was the longest serving Conservative Home Secretary for over a century and that during this time she oversaw reductions in crime. So she is claiming for herself a mantle of being the Home Secretary and now presumably the Prime Minister who has reduced crime and that is patently not true. Theresa May was the Home Secretary during a period where we've seen unprecedented cuts in terms of resources and all I can say is on behalf of the members I represent you know, when she comes out yesterday and says enough is enough, I mean, personally, I think most people thought enough was enough after the first incident. It doesn't, it's not enough is enough suddenly. And if enough is enough is a really good slogan that sounds tough, it must be legitimate that people look underneath that and say, but what is this person's record? Uh, because unless she means enough is enough, I got it all wrong before, and now I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, I think people are entitled to think that actually that's a little bit hypocritical.